Hi, I'm Tom Hadigan. I'm the author and the creator of a new YouTube channel dedicated to mixed martial arts and to boxing. Now, there has been a lot of conversation and uh, intrigue and hope about a possibility of a matchup between John Real Casimero and the Japanese phenomenon uh, Naoma Inoue. Of course, Inoue is a uh, current four, four belt champion and um, Casimero has been a three weight division world champion. Now this is me, my name is Tom Hadigan, this is my channel, please subscribe and if you like the content please just add a like, it does help the channel grow and develop. So if Casimero is going to achieve his long-term goal of a matchup with with um, Inouye, what is, does he have to do, what steps does he need to take? Let's look at these steps carefully. Number one, he needs to apologise to the Japanese Boxing Commission, why? In October 2024, Casimero fought the American boxer Sanchez. There were lots of weight irregularities. He missed weight twice. And as a result of that, he's been banned by the Japanese Boxing Commission until 2025. That was his responsibility. He's at fault. He needs to write to the Japanese Boxing Commission and apologize for losing weight, uh, for not losing weight uh, correctly and for missing weight. Secondly, uh, over the years, um, Casimero has said some rather disparaging remarks about Inouye and his team, and his father in particular. Now, I think this is inappropriate. Now, we need to remember that smack talk is a part of boxing, and it, it actually puts um, sells tickets. But um, Inouye is the belt holder. He will decide who his next three opponents are. He's already decided that December 2024, he'll be fighting the Australian Sam Goodman. Now, his international management team are setting up uh, the, a matchup between, uh, Sam, between um, Naoma Anoye and the uh, Uzbekistani ex-world champion Akmad Daliyev. Now, this is not written, it's not, um, it's not cast in bronze, but it's likely to happen. So there are two opponents uh, in the immediate future for Inouye. Uh, there's the final opponent of 2024 and the first opponent of 2025. Now, there's no reason why Casimero could not be the second opponent of 2025. What does he need to do? Firstly, he needs to become supremely fit. You can't be a three-division world championship title holder without being an extraordinary athlete. No one doubts that uh, Casimero is an ass outstanding extraordinary athlete he just needs to now start getting really disciplined and become supremely fit also step four he needs to arrange a warm-up fight with uh, an outstanding challenger one such challenger could be Brandon Figueroa now I thought that um, there were two possibilities for a 2020 fight for Casimero um, and we've looked at one of those uh, but Brandon Figueroa is still available I believe this will be a perfect matchup for Casimero and his team because I believe that uh, Casimero would beat Figueroa. This is the picture of the American ex world champion Figueroa. Step six. Um, I, the impression I get, and I'm not certain of this, and I'm not privy to all the negotiations, but I don't think that he's being necessarily negotiated. His, his team are not necessarily the best possible team. Casimero needs to negotiate sensibly with Inouye, his father and his team. And to do that, Casimero needs a highly qualified and experienced negotiating team. I believe he's, he's severed ties with his um, management company. And I believe his mother, his, his brother is involved in his uh, negotiating um, deals, etc. I think he needs a slightly more experienced negotiating team to deal with uh, Inouye and his father and, and, and their team. Step seven, he needs to concentrate on boxing. Now we know that uh, he's an outstanding boxer, Cosimero, but he sees himself, I think, as a YouTuber and a boxer. And I think that could be a mistake. I think that even though he doesn't have a, you know, a very large, astronomically large channel, maybe 82,000 uh, subscribers, I think he needs to, for maybe a period of a year, concentrate 100% on his boxing responsibilities and his boxing skill set. And I think if he does that in 2025, we will see this final, finally, we will see this matchup between Cas Casimero and Inouye. Now this is um, 
Casimero's recent record. This is actually quite outstanding. Zolani Tete was an outstanding world champion. Duke Micah, outstanding world champion. Rigondo, two-time gold, Olympic gold medal, uh, world champion, uh, an absolute disaster for many opponents. Uh, Rigondo may be one of the most boring fighters in the history of boxing, and he has this ability to take great boxers and just make sure they don't box. Um, however, to Casimero's uh, you know, credit, he beat Rigondo. He's also beaten um, an ex-world champion, Ogoni, and he dispatched the American Saul Sanchez in round one. Of course, this was the time when there were the weight irregularities and he's banned by the Japanese Boxing Commission until October 2025. However, you know, let's, let's not lose sight of the fact that, let's not lose sight of the fact that um, Casimero has been a world champion at three weight divisions. He's actually fought light flyweight, flyweight, bantamweight, and super bantamweight. This is the recent record of Inouye. It's rather distinguished. Two victories a great against a very great Filipino boxer, Donair. A victory against a very competent um, boxer, Maloney. Um, a victory against a very, very good fighter, Fulton. Another very, very good fighter, Tapales. Another very, very good fighter, Lewis Neri. And uh, a good fighter, Dohaney. Likewise, um, Inouye has held um, has fought a light flyweight, super flyweight, bantamweight, and super bantamweight. So the question is, will the Casimero Inoue fight take place in 2025? Now, the WBO international judge Liga said in a Facebook post that with certainty, Casimero will fight Inoue in 2024. It never happened, but it could happen in 2024.